Welcome to this month's Heath Highlight, where we are summarizing the top five questions I got this spring. Remember, every Monday, I do a question of the week. Here come the top five. We are back in a very competitive market, and buyer's number one question is, how do I know the value of the house? So let's talk at it from two different angles. Number one, we're gonna look at comps. However, looking at comps from 2023 can throw people off a little bit, because let's admit, 2023 was not a hot real estate market. So normally when we look at comps from the last six months, we're gonna have to look a little bit further back into 2022 to get an accurate idea of where things are gonna be in 2024, because we just don't have that much data in 2024 yet. The other side of that equation is we gotta say, what is the house worth to you? I have so many clients that when a house closes, they're like, but I would've paid that for it. So the conversation I have with everybody at the beginning is think of the number where if it goes for a dollar more, you're okay with letting someone else have the house. Then we look at comps, we look at the value that it's worth to you, we understand the data from how many offers there are gonna be, how many disclosure packages are out, and we make a very educated guess about what the property is worth. People call me and say, ah, Tyler, I found this house that I really want, but I need to sell my house in order to be able to afford this one. Am I gonna lose it if we take the time? Here's the deal. Number one, whoever it is you're working with, talk to your agent. How quickly can you sell your house? Understand the differences between selling your house off market, maybe not having to prep, do all of that. How quickly could you actually get that sold off market? And will that yield you the best results? If so, maybe you can put your house into contract and make the other house contingent upon the sale of your house. Not ideal in a competitive situation, but all things that you need to anticipate and talk about and understand. The other thing is you could get a bridge loan, which is basically a short-term loan that a bank will give you based on owning parts of your home, right? A percentage of your home. They'll loan you the money to buy the next one before you close on your, on your previous home. So a bridge loan can be a really useful tool, but always talk to your agent first. So when investigating a property that you're looking to buy, three very important things to investigate. Number one, permit history, either on the RBR in Marin, the 3R in San Francisco, or calling the town of the city. Number two, title report. Is there any money owed on the property? Are there any easements? Number three, really important in California these days, can you get the property insured? Those are three of the most important things you have to investigate. Okay, so people always ask me, what are the top three things I can do to my house to add value to my house? Three things, really easy. Number one, everybody likes a really nice kitchen. Number two, bathrooms. People care about bathrooms. And the third thing is create epic outdoor space. But when I say all of this, you have to do it with quality. Don't buy cheap Home Depot, run of the mill stuff. If I touch it, if I feel it, if I use it on a daily basis, it's gotta be quality. The question this week, Tyler, why am I seeing all these price reductions on Zillow and Trulia? Well, it's here, the summer. And the summer market does tend to slow down. Not because there's anything wrong with market, because people travel, kids are out of school, they're in camp, parents are occupied. Like, it just gets busy and people kind of take a break from real estate. But here's some cool stats for you. In the last seven days in the Bay Area, there have been more than 3,800 new listings. However, there have been more than 2,000 price reductions. That's because anything that's been on the market, people are like, oh, quick, hurry, I gotta sell before everyone leaves town for the summer. But we have also had over 2,900 properties go into contract, either pending or with a contingency, and over 2,500 properties have closed escrow in the last week. It's just our normal summer market. Keep your seatbelts on. So follow along on Instagram, send me your questions. I'm happy to answer. Happy July, enjoy your summer.